What's going on? Welcome to Hiking 101. Due to the fact you've actually clicked this video, chances are you're looking about more information in regards to hiking and backpacking. I should know. That's exactly what I was doing when I was starting out. I was looking at YouTube videos, reading Backpacker Magazine, uh, picking up the latest hiking books that I could find at my local library. And with all the prevailing information out there, uh, I hit the trails with about a 62 pound pack for a five day trek. Uh, that was locally, so it wasn't very rigorous, it was pretty flat terrain. Uh, and I gotta tell you, it, it was pretty heavy. I weigh 160 pounds, and a 62 pound pack is almost 40% of my body weight, so it's pretty insane. I got a little more adventurous, I did a little more research, and I came across the Appalachian Trail. I decided to do a, an overnighter just to see how it was. Uh, the section that I picked here in New York was a little bit strenuous, but I felt I could handle it. Uh, an overnight trek, one way, five mile trek, was a 40 pound pack, total weight. Uh, going up two mountains, elevation change was between, I think, three and 700 feet. Uh, it kicked my ass, to be honest. Um, my quads cramped, my calves cramped, my back ached, my feet were killing me. Uh, and I was thinking to myself, is this the only way to go? I mean, with all the information out there, uh, everything's geared towards really heavy, solid, bomb-proof gear. Uh, so I did a little more research. And I came across uh, a lot of uh, information regarding to ultralight hiking, lightweight backpacking. Um, I chatted with a bunch of people online to see what they were carrying and what differed from mine. And I came across uh, another industry called a cottage industry. Uh, what cottage industries are are actual hikers who make their own gear, test them in the field, make sure they, uh, they're durable, and it's, they're using the lightest uh, materials out there and selling them out to people at a reasonable price. Actually, even comparable to a lot of other uh, brand names like uh, REI, Osprey, um, Gregory, Deuter. So I started doing more research, acquiring lighter uh, gear, and a year later, I did a similar five-day trek with a 29-pound pack weight. I've now further did some more research and I've actually got now for a five-day trek down to about 22 pounds. Now what this video is really going to be geared towards is taking a look at all the hiking gear there, there are from your feet to your head and from the packs uh, shelter and different areas such as your cook kit, your hydration, and really showing you what the prevailing information is showing you and then giving you other options. Because there are other options. You don't have to hit the trails with such a heavy pack. You can go lighter and maintain the same amount of comfort. So I hope you enjoy this series and uh, I guess we should begin with chapter one which is your feet. Enjoy.